And there is some fine and dry weather in my forecast, but my goodness, what a miserable Monday morning it has been. Some parts of the region over the last 24 hours have seen between 10 and 17 millimetres of rain. It's all tied in with this area of low pressure, which this morning has been moving east and southeastwards. As it continues the centre to pull away, well, the rain should become more showery, although we still this afternoon can't rule out an odd heavier burst. Now, colder air is starting to feed down from the north as I speak, so we've already seen today's top temperatures. This afternoon we're only looking at highs of 5 to 7 Celsius. The wind's picking up as well on the North Norfolk coast and actually around much of the East Coast. We could this afternoon have gusts of around 30 miles an hour. So tonight, a lot of cloud for much of the night with further showers piling in off the North Sea, but eventually these showers should start to become more isolated and we're also likely to see some clear spells developing. And underneath those clear skies, it's likely to turn quite chilly, lows of around one or two degrees Celsius. So this is where we're most likely to see some overnight frost. And for a time on the North Norfolk coast, those winds picking up further still with gusts of around 37 miles an hour. Now, tomorrow, we've got quite a slack area of pressure over us. This feature sinking down the North Sea, bringing some fairly widespread showers during Tuesday evening and night. But Tuesday itself, a lot of fine and dry weather, although we can't rule out a few showers feeding in off the North Sea. But for most of us, dry with a good deal of November sunshine, but doing little for the temperatures, which will only reach highs of about six or seven degrees Celsius. But tomorrow, the winds generally will tend to be lighter. And then on Wednesday, Wednesday, a frost to start the day and possibly some mist and fog, but it's looking fine and dry. And then Thursday and Friday, a lot of uncertainty still in the forecast, but at the moment, the potential for some showers and some of those could be wintry in nature. Over the weekend, a lot of fine and dry weather. But again, if we see any showers, they could have a little bit of sleet or wintry stuff mixed in. And uh, before I go, your overnight lows. So pretty chilly tonight, but then it's going to become <laughs> much colder over the next few nights. We're looking at lows of around minus one to minus three, and that means the return of a widespread frost.